people how are you so today is another cooking practical and here we have um, ground bambara nuts ban bambara ground nuts as you might know it Igbos call it opa Nigerians call it opa so we're preparing it fresh so it's been sieved they use in to, to do it after grinding then here you have pepper and uziza seed already it's red but there's no palm oil we're going to mix with salt okay and hot water palm oil hot water mixed into the pot of the bambara. So we'll walk it in to a beautiful mixture. Okay, so we had to, there's a certain consistency that the upper needs, right, sis? Eh? There's a certain consistency the upper needs, mm. so that's why we added more. Uh, yeah, because flour. the oil was much, so we need okay. to moderate everything. Right. Okay, mm. so it has to, how does it have to look before? Okay, the thing has to, and I've just seen it. It has to draw, the draw. drawing, yeah. It okay. has to be difficult for me to... It has to be like a dough, like a dough. Like a dough, like yeah. Okay. Okay, so the pepper goes in now. It's no, fresh no. pepper, right? This is fresh pepper. And wow. Is a... And you're going to use your hand to mix it now? Yes. I'm going wow. to mix it all through with my hand until I get what I want. Wow. So while you are here, just keep watching. Yes. Mm. I can perceive the Uziza's um, aroma. Mm. This is a hack. Okay, so this is a hack you can use to achieving the smoothness of your opa. All right, so salt. Okay. So now we've jumped that aspect of having to. This is salt being put in. We've jumped the aspect, so we actually sieved the opa to get it quickly done. That was a fast way of doing it, getting it quickly done. Now we've added salt. So in here you have palm oil, the bambara ground nuts or bambara nuts as it's known. We also have um, water. We keep putting hot water in it, um, salt, pepper, and uziza seed. For now, that's what we have. Is it just salt you put? Just salt. It's okay, you won't put uh, like my, stock. It does not need anything. Okay. Do you need more salt? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you also have to check your salt in moderation so that it's not too much. Do you need the water for? Cook it, okay, you would put it like moi moi, mm. right? Okay. There are people who use these leaves to do it, right? Yeah, vegetable. No, like um, leaf, the um, leaf to tie it. Like, that is a banana plantain leaf. Plantain leaf. So in the absence of plantain leaves, you can use nylon. Yeah. Okay. That was back then, when everything was available. This time. Yeah. Well, in those days, but if we're in the village. Right, we can oh, have yeah, it. The They're not using the yeah, okay. okay. So, so that's all. Become that's all. This is the and hot water. What? Okay, so we're turning into the nylon. Then it goes into the hot pots of water. It doesn't seem so difficult to make actually. But of course, the process of having to knead it seemed to be. Okay. Oh, we're actually using charcoal because of having to save um, 
you know, gas, having to save kerosene if you're making use of kerosene. And then the tastes, right? Not just that. You need to your system. Okay, and for it, right, yeah. It needs very powerful heat to boil quickly. If you're using your stove or using your gas, it might take longer. So that's one of the reasons we're using a, um, charcoal and charcoal pots, as you can see. Here we have our boiling. Yeah, it's not balanced. 